Hello people this is Mohit once again uh, with yet another tutorial on uh, Adobe Flash CS5 this time uh, I'm going to teach you how to make a flash preloader now preloaders are very common these days uh, you find uh, many uh, preloaders on websites uh, usually where we have uh, flash uh, preholders you know there may be an uh, animation coming up uh, but before it actually hits the screen the uh, the uh, specific spot on the page may display a bar running from left to right or you may see something uh, circular you know mm. going uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise telling you that uh, please wait for some time and uh, there's a picture going to come up at this uh, specific spot that's a preloader I think as we go along you'll get a better idea what a preloader is so let me start usually when we saw start a project in flash uh, we tend to click uh, on action script 3 under uh, create new but this time uh, we will go under create from template and hit sample files thereafter the second last entry preloader for SWF let's say ok ok guys now flash uh, provides me a stage it uh, gives me a ready-made actions uh, layer uh, where we have the action script we have a content layer where uh, some content is supposed to go and we have a background layer the background the stage the uh, darkish grayish uh, background so basically uh, flash uh, gives us uh, almost everything we just need to tweak it and uh, we'll have a very nice uh, looking preloader let's first uh, uh, replace uh, the large content text with an image I'll say file, I'll say import, import a stage mm, go into my library, pictures, sample pictures um, pick up tulips, they look really nice, romantic 550 by 400 uh, I've changed the size and in doing so it's aligned to the stage the stage is also 550 by 400 perfect okay now let's actually uh, do a publish preview of the thing mm, okay uh, you'll be surprised you you probably thought uh, you should be able to see a preloader but actually just uh, it's the uh, the tulips on <laughs> the face uh, so what went wrong uh, we need to actually simulate the download to see uh, how it would uh, actually perform there you see that uh, uh, loading uh, sign now I'll show it again mm. okay. you see the pulsating loading sign and uh, the percentage uh, number going up and then you see the picture so this was uh, the preloader that uh, flash gave us uh, but there is no bar there is uh, no circular wheel uh, sort of a thing doing circles so um, it's not so so it's, it's just an average kind of a preloader a pulsating and uh, you know incrementing text kind of a percentage text kind of a preloader I'm not too happy with that I, I would want to tweak that and make it uh, look a little better so what can I do let me um, import onto the stage a bar that runs from left to right I've already made that bar it's a JPEG image that I made in Fireworks Adobe Fireworks CS5 I'll import it and before I actually do that uh, I'll create a new layer and this new layer I'll call a uh, rec and let me just call it a bar that's it okay fine and on this layer uh, we have two frames I don't need the second frame I'll delete it so let's remove frames so I just need the one single frame where I need to put the bar so file import import stage uh, from the desktop I pick up a ready-made JPEG image of a bar take it slightly up uh, this should be fine okay and now I am on the actions layer I click on the first frame go inside actions where all the action script the ready-made action script is there and I'll uh, just tweak it add one single line and we are done 
Okay, guys. So, uh, bar period or a full stop scale capital X space equals space mm, loaded. So I'm telling Flash to uh, scale the bar and make it equal to loaded. And this loaded is a variable which is controlled via this line. So uh, the loaded actually increments from uh, probably 0 to 100 or 1 to 100 and that uh, actually scales the bar. It's small when it starts off, kicks off and then it uh, goes the, the full length from left to right. But what exactly is the bar here? Uh, I'm talking about the bar. But where is the bar? What is the bar? Bar is actually the instance name of this uh, rectangular uh, pink bar. I'm yet to give it an uh, 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 instance name, but uh, when I give it, I'll, I'll call it bar. First of all, let me convert it to a symbol registration point. I'll accept as the middle left. That's fine. I'll say OK. And the instance name, so that ActionScript can actually uh, call uh, this specific uh, pink rectangle, we'll call it bar. Okay. Okay, guys, so if everything is fine, this uh, preloader sh should work uh, great. Let me take a publish preview, say flash, and uh, we need to simulate the download. There, perfect. So uh, the bar runs from left to right, gives us uh, uh, a very nice idea how much of uh, you know the picture has loaded. And once uh, Flash understands that the picture is loaded uh, completely, the preloader uh, has done its full length, and pop comes up the image. Boom. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching my tutorial. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it too. Have a good day. Bye bye. See you next time.